As the crow flies, Grouse Creek is 120 miles from downtown Salt Lake City. But on the ground, it's more than 200. The fastest way goes through Nevada, the last stretch on gravel. In 1920, the census counted 342 residents in the town. Today, 93 people live in the whole zip code. Among them, the four members of the war family, including Kobe. And right away, you get the feeling Kobe's personality is as big as this valley. Mom a good driver on this? Yes. <laughs> okay. There's Harvey. Hi, Harv. Harvey is Kobe's horse. My horse? is bigger than my mom's. Harvey holds some of Kobe's collection of awards, as her mom, Jess, tells us. And so this is what she won last year, was that, and then the year before she won some spurs. This year, Kobe was the 4th of July rodeo princess, and around here, tiaras fit on a cowgirl's hat, and Kobe is a cowgirl. Yeah! Let's go. Yeah, we'll trot when we get up here. Kobe and her dad, Mason, are tracking down some stragglers from their herd. Kobe wore my GoPro camera to get us an up-close look. Hey, you ready? Wherever, Dad. Come okay. on, let's go. Come on. <laughs> Mason and Kobe made quick work of bringing in the cows. So Kobe and her dad are good work partners. But so are Kobe and her mom, Jess. Are these the essentially the bones of the saddle? Yes. Back at the house, they show me the shop where Jess makes custom leather belts, chaps, and saddles. How do you do the design? Um, so or, I have a swivel knife. Maybe you just do it with that? that? Yep, really? Just with that, yep. And I walked away with a Kobe War original. Tell me about that. It's just a cow. Well, show him. It's a cow. With my new favorite keychain, I left the War's ranch and stopped briefly at a historic landmark in the valley. So this was the original schoolhouse in the Grouse Creek Valley. This one goes back to the 1800s. A lot has changed since then, except maybe the size of the school in terms of the number of kids. Today's school is a few miles away in what you might call downtown Grouse Creek. Jill Dallin was all set for back to school day. I'm a teacher. And actually, uh -huh. Jill and Dallin is every student's teacher at Grouse Creek School. No way. Yeah, we got how many kids do you have? I have nine this year. Nine, okay, so it's a pretty big class. Yeah. Because you had fewer last year, right? I did, I had five last year. Is that locker still okay, Miss Susan? Yes. Okay. When you were studying to be a teacher, was there any talk about, well, you might wind up in a one-room schoolhouse or a, a one-class school? No, of course not. Never crossed my mind, never mm -hmm. came up in conversation, nothing. While I was there, four students were in the cafeteria. They were eating Ms. Joanne's pizza and ice cream treats. Cookies on green! Oh, all good choices. Almost half the student body and their parents. A good turnout. And the talk was what you'd expect going back to school. Why are you that I got my tooth pulled. No way! I see that you've walked Five dollars. Five dollars? Yeah. Wow! She's quite confident and dynamic, really mm -hmm. likes to draw people in and can have an engaging conversation. Heidi Jo West is assistant superintendent for the Box Elder District, but yeah, she but does know all the students in Grouse Creek. She once taught in a tiny private school. I could definitely be sympathetic to the situation that they find themselves in, but the reality is what they're doing is complex and new because um, education evolves so quickly. So I'm helping with instruction, small groups, discipline, putting up bulletin boards. Melissa Morris is principal of Grouse Creek School and Park Valley and Snowville. Three schools, each community too isolated for children to commute, though Principal Morris commutes to each of those schools at least once a week. I usually put on about an average of 600 miles a week. While Melissa helps wow. parents get registered for services, Kobe gets a present from her teacher. K-O-B-I-E, Kobe. And like it's a sticker. The present reminds Kobe's mom to remind Kobe. It's a little sticker. Ooh. Hey, you forgot that thing out in the truck. Oh, I got to run out in the truck and I got, got yes. I made that in the Oh, thank you so much. <gasps> this is so awesome. Thanks for making me a sunflower. Yeah. A blue sunflower keychain on leather. 
a nice reminder of a kid who's hard to forget in a place that's hard to get to. It's our little secret, little piece of heaven. Um, the best families, the best students, and there's no place like it. In Grouse Creek, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.